what's going on op it's your boy oren sof and today we are making the cut uh so I opened up an image of your boy the game uh and all his gangster gangster fired ways um first thing i do man is i just make a copy um i make a copy of the original layer um i just found it better for me more beneficial for me to work on a copy because I can turn it off and see what the original joint looked like um, before any effects or whatever was added to it. So um, you'd work with the copy. Um, by the way, I'm using version CS4, but everything I'm going through, um, you can use in pretty much any any version of Photoshop going back to version 5 before they even did CS. <laughs> um, so right here we got the uh, the marquee tool the marquee tools rather um we have the the lasso tools um we have the magic wand tool boo and here we have the pen tool and those are pretty much the standard things that people use to make selections and and, and crop things out of, of of um the backgrounds and what have you um so let's start with the let's start with the polygonal lasso tool um this is what i originally used um when i first was starting out this is what I originally used to like cut things out and cut people out or what have you. But I found that some of my stuff, you know, it had little corners on it because if you know the, 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 the nature of a polygon, it's, it's, it's a shape that has all kinds of sharp angles and corners and stuff. And, you know, it's good. This tool is good when you're, I'm going to just hit control D here to deselect. This tool is good when you're cutting out things like windows or, or things that have definitive corners and shapes. The polygonal lasso tool won't fail you, you know what I mean? Um, but when you're doing things like curves, like the brim of his hat, you know, sometimes you'll get these, these you know, corners, um, you know, unintentionally, but they're still there. I mean, some, like I said, some dudes is nasty with it and, you know, they're able to, you know, freak it without getting it. I, I prefer to use something that'll give me some curves because most of the stuff I cut out, has curves, hats, brims, wheels, you know, arms, elbow, whatever, whatever it is, you know what I mean? I have curves. So I like to use the pen tool um, just to avoid my cuts from having or my renders from having um, any kind of those awkward, you know, elbows, basically, or corners unnecessarily. Um, but before I start, man, let me just have a PSA, a public service announcement about this magic wand tool. Um, maybe take the magic out of the magic wand tool, but... For dudes that use the magic wand tool, man, it's not the move to use to extract somebody or, or to make a cut or a render. Um, reason being is just how the magic wand tool um, operates. You know, it, it, it when you click, it, it whatever color, whatever dot you're on when you click, it's, if, if any pixel is not that exact color, for the most part, it won't select it. You know what I mean? Um, some say, oh, well, you can up the tolerance. No doubt you can up the tolerance, but you know, you start running into other issues when you up the tolerance, like it bleeding over into the image that, you know, where you don't want it. Like, like right here, his finger, you know what I mean? So like right here, oh, if I click here, right here, the edge looks pretty decent, but you know, look over here, look at his hand, you know, it's, it's crazy. You know what I mean? So, and, and, um, if you really look closely, I'm going to just zoom in here. You look closely, you can see where the brim, the edge of the hat and the edge of the background meet. It's so they're sort of blending together. And the magic wand tool doesn't know how to interpolate where the edge of the hat is. So it just stops wherever the color changes. And oftentimes that leaves like these jagged edges all over your, your, your cut. And that's what makes for bad renders and bad cuts. You know what I'm saying? And nobody wants a bad cut um, to use a bad cut in their joints, man. So I'm just going ahead and hit Control D. Um, that's deselect. It's a shortcut. Um, you know, you can also go to select, deselect, but I like using shortcuts because it's just, it's just quicker for me. And I, I use them pretty much a lot. So you're gonna hear me, hear me using them. And I use uh, Control minus and Control plus to zoom in. You know, Control plus plus zooms in. Control minus minus zooms out. All right. So I'm just going ahead and grab my pen tool right now. Um, the mistake I see, I think a lot of cats make and what I've seen a lot of people make, I guess, when they're trying to do tutorials or whatever stuff on the web, you know, they don't zoom in enough when they're, when they're, um, when they're starting to do their, their cuts and everything, man. You got to zoom in pretty much as much as you can, man. I mean, with these newer versions of Photoshop, you got like this sub pixel 
editing or whatever where you can really get down to the pixel level you know what i mean and 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 really make it happen but obviously i ain't i ain't that crazy <laughs> you know what i'm saying but you know you zoom in enough man where you can really follow the little small details about whatever you're cutting out like you know if there's some folds in his pants or you know something sticking out his pocket or whatever you know what i mean you, you're able to catch it when you zoom in because when you're zoomed out you don't you're not able to capture that 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 those kinds of details and i'm not saying you got to be like you know ridiculous with it where you you know like how i just had it earlier where you see all the pixels it don't got to be that close man but just close enough where you can really hit the edges of of your joint and um you know get a nice clean a clean cut um also also when you you know when you're doing it try to stay don't try to go on the outside here rather come like a little bit below the edge of your le your render or the subject because you know like i said earlier with the magic wand tool the edge of the the subject and the background usually sort of blend together right along the edge and that's what gives you that artifacting and that that um that fringing um you know that we know so well from you know bad cuts or whatever so try to stay right below the outside of the of you know right now i'm doing his neck so um you know i'm trying to stay right in inside of of um of of his neck or whatever of the of the the border rather so i'm just keep doing that you know what i mean yeah just gonna go all the way around um a handy little tidbit with the pen tool is that you know you can change the direction of the path when you're going so as i click and hold i'm just clicking and holding right now as i made a new selection um if i if i let go and grab the 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 alt key and hold the alt key i can grab this corner and by grabbing this corner which is just right there or right here is better to see i can change the direction of the path so um if i wanted to come out here I can just, you know, grab, hold the alt key and you get this little arrow thingy. And um, when I click, now you can see the path comes this way. You know, so you can change the direction of the path. So I'm just going to hit alt again and just bring it back because I want the path to follow his jawline. So I'm going to just, you know, do it like that. So you're just going to go ahead and, and just finish out the, you know, finish outlining his whole or your, your subject's whole, um, you know, outline, and make sure you get those details, man. If there's some wrinkles in his clothes and his pants, you know, make sure, or her pants, whatever, you know, make sure you get it because that's what really adds to the quality of a good a good cut. You know what I'm saying? Getting those little details. You know what I mean? Now, do you have to do it every time if you're working on something for your personal use? Hey, you know what? Do you. But, you know, if you're going to be uploading them or other people's going to be looking at them, you know what I'm saying? Um make sure it's a good, a good clean cut and like you can see right here where this blending happens i'm staying right below it because you know if i was the, in the middle of it you know when i finish the extraction you know we're gonna see we, we'll see the uh like i said that fringing on the edge on the end fringing on the edge <laughs> fringing on the ends of uh the the render so all right so once you finished um outlining your subject and you know getting all the little fine details um you know around the edges and what have you um there's a couple of different ways you can um you know really extract them what i like to do uh well actually before that let me just you got to hold uh if you have the pen tool selected um just right click on them and uh you click on make selection leave the radius the feather radius to zero anti-alias or whatever and um, click OK. It's going to give you a little selection. The easiest way I found is just to hold Control and hit C, then hit V. Make sure your layer is selected, the layer that you're trying to copy, because all you're doing is Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And what it does is it puts it on its own layer. And, um, you know, you can see the results here. So once, it's, once you have the cut, man, you, want, you have to inspect it to make sure that, you know, there's no items that are, like, outstanding like light bleeds or anything any funny cuts or just anything that that might look not right you know what i'm saying you just want to make sure that that is good what i sometimes do and i'm not recommending it but i mean it's it's on you if you got the time or the patience to do it i just throw a little black background behind my joint just to um give me some contrast because it's easier to see like the, the light artifacts on a black background that you can't really see if it's transparent 
um, and it looks pretty good. The cut looks pretty clean. Um, there's a little something here I see around his his eye that I could, you know, take care of or whatever. Um, usually, you know, you go to, to take care of like that fringing, make sure your layer is selected, go to layer, matting, and then defringe. Um, you could use like a setting of three or four or whatever. And most times it helps out. Sometimes it, it doesn't really make that much of a change. You might have to just go in manually and just, you know, hit that out or whatever. But um, for the most part, this looks like a pretty clean render, man. The, the, the files, the, the uh, image was pretty big. I might even have to reduce it if I want to upload it, like to reduce the image size if I want to upload it to uh, to OP or whatever. Um, so we can just delete these layers because uh, they don't like multiple layers over at OP. <clears throat> and that's that's pretty much it man i mean you got a good clean render um you know not really much time to not really a lot of time to do it it's not it doesn't take you too long um obviously this is a real simple kind of of uh a simple image where it's not like a whole body or or you know they're wearing all kinds of gear and fatigues and all kinds of stuff with corners and crevices that that just makes for a more tedious cut but uh i mean i think this came out pretty good um, you know, I hope you guys really enjoyed, you know, I hope you guys learned something and just enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna try to post up some more joints, man. I got this one tutorial. Somebody asked me to post with, uh, on an animated, an animated cover, animated mixtape cover. Um, you know, but that's like an advanced tutorial because, um, you know, it involves something outside of Photoshop. Um, I used Adobe After Effects and then imported the video file into Photoshop to make it a, a GIF. So um that's it man if y'all i hope y'all liked it like i said man if y'all feeling it man just show me some love and keep an eye out for the next the next tutorial man i'm gonna try to post real soon all right peace